The Logitech G920 released back in June 2015. Yes, the wheel is that old. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing if the wheel is still worth it now in 2021. I'm also going to show you my setup and some Forza Horizon 4 gameplay. There are three main components to my Logitech G920 setup. There's the wheel, the pedals and the gear shifter. I've had my Logitech G920 Driving Force Racing Wheel and four pedals since February 2020, so I've had it just over a year, a year and a half, and I'm still impressed with it to this day. It is definitely the best entry wheel to simulation driving, racing, driving. The Logitech G920 is compatible with Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC and Mac. You can pick up the wheel and pedals on Amazon for £219, currently £219, they're on offer, they're usually £299. And then there's the shifter, the Logitech G Driving Force Racing Wheel Shifter, which is compatible with G29, G920 and G923, for £37.99 on Amazon, that's currently on offer as well, it's usually £49.99. Now the wheel itself, the wheel component, the driving force feedback racing wheel provides a detailed simulation of driving a real car. With helical gearing delivering smooth, quiet steering and it has a hand stitched leather cover with this little metal ring at the top so you can see where the centre of the wheel is so it's there for alignment. It has all the Xbox controller buttons apart from the analogue sticks. We have A, B, X, Y, the two menu buttons, LSB and RSB, and not that I've found a game that uses those yet, the D-pad and the Xbox button. And the Xbox button works exactly the same way as it does on your controller. Looking at how this fixes to a desk or to a steering rig, there are these amazing little mounting points, these little mounting designs. You have to twist them to lift them up and then once you've lifted them up you can unscrew them which makes the gap bigger and tighten them up which makes the gap smaller. And these are a really sturdy design, they're, they're actually excellent for clamping them to a desk or to a steering rig. The steering rig that I am currently using is the Play Seat Challenge and this steering wheel mounts to them really easily. The Play Seat Challenge comes with all these screws to help you fit it to the plate seat challenge and it is really easy to do. On the underside, the underneath, we have all these connections. We have the power connector, a simple power connection just like you would see on something like a laptop. We have the USB connector for connecting it to an Xbox or a PC or a Mac. We also have these two PC connectors, one for the pedals and one for the shifter. And when not in use, you can wrap the actual USB cord around the two prongs in the middle. The wheel offers 900 degrees of full rotation with a truly impressive force feedback for the price. When it comes to the force feedback, I recommend not having that to the max, otherwise you're just gonna be throwing your arms all over the place. It's not as powerful as a direct drive, but it's still reasonably strong. The paddles for changing gears at the back, they're magnetic paddles, they feel really good, they're very clicky. The clicks aren't annoying, it's nice to know that your gear change is being registered by that click. Now on to the pedals. I think it's well known that the pedals are an issue for the Logitech G920, and that's for one pedal in particular. Now the accelerator pedal is the loosest pedal of all three, straight down, no problems there. The clutch is a little bit tighter, you get that little bit more responsiveness with the clutch. But then there's the brake. The brake has this little foam piece inside to give you that little bit more resistance, and by a little bit I mean a ton. There is so much resistance in the brake pedal, it's untrue. A lot of people find this uncomfortable and take that little foam piece out. That's if you want to avoid your warranty. You can get mods for the brake pedal. You can get quite a lot of mods for this wheel setup itself. Now the brake has been made that stiff to give it a little bit more of a real feel. If it was too loose, you'd be putting your foot through the floor. So there's that little bit of resistance. By a little bit, I mean a ton. There's a ton of resistance when you're pressing down on that brake pedal and it's to give you that real feel. It's supposed to feel more realistic and it can be quite tough for a lot of people but there are a couple of ways to get around that. As I said earlier, you can mod the brake pedal or you can actually increase the braking linearity in games. Now when it comes to securing the foot pedals, there are mounting points if you want to stick these pedals on an actual steering rig, racing rig, 
or whatever you want to call it. And for those of you who are using these pedals on carpet, there is this nifty little carpet grip. You've just got to pull this little button, this little like lever sort of thing right here, and it activates, it makes the uh, carpet grip spin round. And these little plastic spikes work really well at securing your foot pedals on your carpet. There is very little movement. Onto the gear shifter. That is an H shifter. There are six gears. There's reverse where you have to press the gear stick down and move it down into six to get reverse. So it is a six speed gear shifter. If you're driving any cars with any more than six gears, you're going to be better using the paddles. It's put together really well. It does have a plasticky feel on top, but for 40 quid, are you really going to get a top end gear shifter? It's only £40. It's an add-on peripheral for an already pretty cheap simulation steering wheel. The mounting system is the same as the wheel. I really love these little screw things where you have to press them down, lift them up, yard 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 to get it clamped to whatever you're fitting it to these fittings have to be the best fittings i've ever known on a steering wheel and there's an additional clamp where if you're fitting it to a desk it makes it a lot more sturdy because this gear stick you're going to be hammering around now there is a trick with the gear stick you can actually use it as an e-brake if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. I may make a separate video on that. And that is it, mates. That is each part of my Logitech G920 setup, which I fit to this, my place seat challenge. The best thing about this place seat challenge, well, the best thing for wifey, is that this place seat challenge folds up. It even folds up when the wheels attach, so it saves space. I can just fold it up and tuck it away at the side of the TV when it's not in use, and it's not in the way. There's not this great big steering rig in the way of everybody in the front room, because that's where I do my videos, in the front room. I don't have my own little office yet, but fingers crossed that's happening real soon. So is the Logitech G920 any good in 2021, and is it still as good when it released? The Logitech G920 is absolutely amazing. It's incredible for just driving a car around on the roads. It's even incredible awesome. I should say awesome. It's awesome for driving it for driving a car off-road. The immersion is fantastic. The force feedback is there. The game has been programmed for you to feel every single bump. It's brilliant. Honestly, the realism is great. It's not super real. But it's great. You get a lot more from playing this game with a wheel than you do with a control pad, in my honest opinion. And the Logitech G920 is perfect. I haven't got my hands on a Logitech G923. I've heard that the true force feedback on that is far superior than the Logitech G920. But that comes at a price. The G920 is currently £219 with the gear shifter at an extra... 40. So you're talking £260 for the Logitech G920 with the shifter for a decent budget sim racing setup. I absolutely love mine. It's beautiful. It's worth its money if it's going to be used. If you're not going to use it, then yes, it's a waste of money. But if you definitely are going to use it, then it's definitely worth its money. And if you're just starting out on simulations, driving, simulation racing, however you want to put it, then this is probably the best entry level wheel you can get it is awesome if you do have a logitech g920 and you want to know how to set it up perfectly for forza horizon 4 or any other racing game i'll leave links to every single one in the description down below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did a like would be super appreciated it helps my video get noticed by people who are thinking about getting a Logitech G920 so not only would you be helping me out you'd be helping out other people that are considering buying a G920 so for that I truly thank you and thank you once again for watching you guys are awesome stay safe play awesome